guys. Come on, guys. <laughs> How's it feel tomorrow? Yeah, obviously, um, no, it feels good. Um, you know, we put in a good shift over the last two games. Um, and to be in the semi-final, of course, um, that's such a rush, such a, such a good feeling. Um, I think it makes it a bit sweeter because, you know, before we'd even... But when the draw was made for this quarter-final, a lot of people wrote us off um, before we'd even played. And, um, yeah, to, to, to qualify for the semi-final and get through, um, obviously, um, it's great for us, great for the team. And, um, yeah, um, we're really excited, really happy, tired as well. <laughs> Sikayo, well done. Uh, this is Terry. I wanted to ask you a question on how you defended on Osimhen. Every time the ball was on the side and the cross was about to go in, you defended old school, in an old school way. You always went tight to win. You don't go to the spot, you played the man. Tell me more about that. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, Victor's been having a great season and, um, you know, I know how, how dangerous he is. Um, and uh, yeah, I just tried to make sure I got my body in between him and, and the ball as, at all times as much as possible. Obviously, I was disappointed that I managed to score at the end. Um, but yeah, I just tried to get as tight to him as possible um, and try not to give him a lot of space. And then um, I think, you know, they like to play the ball in behind with him a lot. So I think we, um, Simon Kieran and I, we really covered the space well whenever they got their head up. And um, yeah, I think we actually frustrated them and we limited the, the amount of times that we could get the ball to him um, in dangerous areas. And then when the ball actually came, um, yeah, we, we, uh, we defended really well, got tight to him and um, we had a lot of cover. So yeah, I think, um, <clears throat> you know, coming into a game like this um, with a play of that quality, um, you know that you have to be tight to him and you have to be switched on. And I think we were today. For Corey, Jamie, Carragher here, I just want to say you're absolutely outstanding in the game and we'll speak a lot more about you as we get to the semi-final. But a little birdie tells me that uh, the guy who's just asked the question before me is one of your biggest idols. Now, what are your <laughs> thoughts of him as a pundit as well as a player? Yeah, I mean, as a player, of course, um... You know, there's not much to be said. Um, like you said, you know, when I was growing up, uh, you know, Thierry, I hope you don't mind me embarrassing you like this, but um, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was a big fan. He was, a, he was uh, my idol. So um, obviously, I, as I was getting older, I moved behind, um, further back, the, back down the pitch. But um, yeah, obviously, uh, and as a pundit as well, it was really funny. You know, we, was, we were actually <laughs> watching... Um, <laughs> No, we, we, no, we, we, <laughs> he's the animist. No, I remember we were watching um the last game. We were watching um we were watching the video of when he was doing the guess who, and he guessed himself twice instead of Oli. Um, <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah, it was a really funny one. We were watching that the other day. In the mixer, that's yeah. what it does. Thierry, come on. No, listen. One thing. No, first and foremost, thank you. you yeah, I got a bit red, you know, when you said that. But <laughs> I want to ask you a question. How great is it to play in front of Mike Menio? Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he brings so much calm to the team. Um, you know, such a presence. Even, you know, off the pitch, he's so professional. And, um, you know, as soon as we're, we're preparing for a game, he's always talking and he's saying, you know, maybe we should do this, maybe we should do that. He's always organising, always helping. And, you know, he's, he's, he's more than a keeper in a way. Um, you know, he, he gives us so much when we have the ball. Um, he manages to get us, get us forward a lot quicker. You know, he's got a great kick and he's very accurate with those. So... And especially, um, you know, when we need him, you know, sometimes when, um, you know, they get through our defence and um, he's got to make a world-class save, you know, like he did last week uh, against uh, Di Lorenzo late in the game. You know, having, having someone like that behind us obviously gives us a lot of confidence. We can play a higher line, we can be a bit more aggressive and um, we can rely on him. So um, I think that's the, that's the key thing. OK, Fakori. Last but not least, who was a better defender, Jamie Carragher or Big Beaks himself? <laughs> <laughs> You can say that. Are you going to make me answer that? For Corey. Yeah, you're going to make me on. answer it. Yeah, come on, really, answer, come on. The, the fans want to know. Come the on. viewers want to see. Sorry, what did you, you say? I can't hear you. Parlo Italiano? Si, si, parlo Italiano. OK, understood. Who's better than me or Jamie? When you were growing up, who was the most impressive defender? Who did you look up to? Is there anyone that stands out? Maybe someone who was playing for Manchester City called Mike or someone at Liverpool called Jamie? Were they influencers for your idols? Yeah, both of them. I mean, obviously, I said Thierry's my idol, so I can't, I can't change my idol now. But, um, <laughs> Double down. But, uh, you know, obviously, g going, um, you know, growing up in, in the, the youth side at Chelsea, obviously, John Terry was, was, a, big, um, oh, was a big reference no. for me. Um, I, have to, I, have to, I have to be honest, I have to be honest. Um, yeah, he, they, he was a big um, reference um, for me, but um, obviously, both, the both of you, obviously, Micah, I know you played in Italy, so... Um, <laughs> we got it! Ciao! Oh. 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 Oh.
so appreciate your time, and we do apologize as well for uh, Micah and Jamie's chronic mispronunciation of your name time and time again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. I got it right, man. I got it right. Excuse me, I got it right. Excuse me, I wouldn't have gone to swear. Ciao a tutti, Raphael. Ciao, Raphael is good. Good accent, good. Ah, you see, yeah, you see, yeah. Yes, yes, my guy, you know. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. How you doing? How you How you feeling? Congratulations. That's a great result. Must feel good to be through. Yeah, thank you. I feel I feel great. Was a wonderful night. I think we did a good job and. I'm proud. I'm proud for for the whole team, yeah. Raphael, a few weeks ago, you went to Napoli and won 4-0 in Serie A. How much confidence did that give you going into this semi-final? Yeah, I think I think they they didn't expect uh, the way we went uh, in the game, um, and of course uh, beat them uh, the first of championship for Serie A like 4-0 um, in in their home was was um, was wonderful for us to give more confidence to the next match, but we knew it. Uh, we knew it too to, um, here. Uh, the, the 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 second game of the Champions League uh, would be different, and and uh, they did very well, uh, always with the with the ball, and uh, most of the time we stay back. But uh, I think the the key of the game was a counter attack, uh, counter attack, and um, we did uh, we did go, the, we did a goal there. Yeah. Rafael. Bonsoir, c'est Thierry. Yeah. Comment va ton français? Ouais. Non, bien, bien, moi je parle bien. Oh, moi, je non, non, mais ton français est français, euh... propre. Ouais. Non, euh... non, non, sorry, we're going to have to carry on in English, but one yeah, thing that I wanted to say before we talk about your, your, your run, that, that actually was crazy. Yeah. I love the way you and Giroud defended today, especially you. Because if you, you guys want to go far, you have to defend like that. But what I wanted to say is, when did you decide that you were going to go to goal? At what moment? Yeah. Uh, you mean when I received the ball? No, when? When did you decide, you know what, I'm going to go to goal and, 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 give it, and give it to Olivier or maybe score? When did you decide that you were going to yeah, go? Yeah, no, I, I, when, when, the, when I, I passed the last defender, um, I, I looked to the goalkeeper and I saw the, the, I saw like from here, I can't score. So I looked to the area and I see Oli and just give to them. And yeah. No, because I was I was under the impression that every time you have the ball, when there is space, it looks like you say to everybody, you know what, meet me in the box. <laughs> just say it, even if it's not true. People, <laughs> people, people will be scared. Just say it. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks looks uh, looks easy, but in Syria, the defenders they 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 are tough. But uh, I think. Sometimes I just have to put the ball in the front and run, because uh, most of the times I'm I'm more I'm more fast than them. And uh, today I did well. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, Raphael. You. When you. you see the the games tomorrow, obviously the big rival of yours, Inter Milan, are in the other semi-final. Would you, would you like that? A big semi-final with your biggest I rivals. I I didn't understand. Can you repeat, please? Sorry. They have, oh, the, he's, they he's, have the same he's, problem he's the in the studio. Sorry, problem. it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you play Inter Milan are playing tomorrow, Internazionale. Would you like to face them in the semi-final? <laughs> you do like you like do? Uh, I didn't. <laughs> <understand. laughs> is is Inter the team you want in the semi-finals? Ah, okay, okay. No, yes. yeah. No, no, I can, I can, I can, no, I can't hear. I can't hear well. Uh, we'll be, we'll be, uh, we'll be good. I was, I was, I was to play, play against them. Uh, it's um, for us against Inter. Against against Inter, it will be a, a great, a great game. Um, I think uh, the passion we will put in the game uh, will be the same we put today or more because. Uh, play against them, it's uh, the, 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 the atmosphere will be crazy in Milan, so uh, we have to, to, to give 100%, yeah. Raphael, we appreciate thank you, thank you, you so much. You, You're not alone, by the way. This show goes out to America. You now understand how all of America feels when Jamie Carragher talks. They have similar problems <laughs> understanding his accent. So thank you for your patience. We appreciate uh, you. Good luck no in the semifinals.
Bravissimo Rafa, complimenti. Ma che cosa? Io e mi sono cosa che What? Excited to announce Kevin De Bruyne joins us. Go ahead, Terry, introduce Terry me. Hello, evening, guys. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> talk to me, my friend! <laughs> yeah, we go again, we go again. <laughs> Kev, it's yes. Terry. TT. It's Terry. Salah. Yeah, first and foremost, congratulations. But I wanted to ask you. you something. You know, I, I love the perform performance at home at the Etihad because you all played as a team. But tell me, if the big man, Alan, starts to hold the ball and stay with you guys and defend, I think you guys will be unstoppable. But I think, um, honestly, we, we know Bayern is top, you know, and I think in both, both games, uh, there's moments you're going to suffer. But I think uh, as a team we defended really well. You know, you can't stop them for 90 minutes. But in the in the difficult moments we were there as a team, and then at the right moments we had our chances. And then obviously scoring the one 0 changed it all. And um, yeah, I'm very proud of this team. We we did really well against the top class team. And uh, yeah, very happy to to go back to the semis. Kevin, you mentioned the semi-finals and you played Real Madrid. Last season, we know what happened. Do you feel the team has come on in any way? Obviously, you have Erlen Haaland at the top end of the pitch. Do you think you're in a better position to go there and get that result now? Well, I don't feel any any different towards uh, last year or, or this year. I think last year we, we played really well. Um, and the last five minutes of the second game changed the outcome. And, you know, um, then obviously everybody has a different opinion. I think we played really well, uh, made some mistakes. And um, I think this year we will try to minimize the mistakes. And I think defensively we're very solid. Um, so, you know, I've got confidence in our team. Real is class also. So uh, we go again and uh, hopefully the outcome will be ours this time. Kevin, can you talk me through your form at the moment? It's devastating. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> don't be shy. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, you know. Um, yeah, the season is so long, and obviously there's there's moment that it's a little bit less. But I, I feel really good, you know. Uh, I'm very happy that the last two years I had no injuries whatsoever. I'm available, um, but I think that the team is on on good form, and I'm I'm flowing with them. Um, uh, I, I try to create as as many chances as possible, and. Yeah, Erling is, is scoring sometimes. Uh, no, he scores all the time, obviously. But uh, no, I'm, I'm very happy with the form, with the team. And uh, we need to keep it going. It's a tough end to the season, but it's fun. Kevin, last question for you. It's Arsenal next week, and there is talk now of a treble. I mean, you could create history. Come on, is it on? Is it doable? Well, is it doable? Um, Everything is doable, but doesn't mean it makes it any easier. You know, um, it's Wednesday evening now, and Saturday is Sheffield. You know, uh, we can't look at what happens at Arsenal. I want to play the FA Cup final. I only won it once, so I want to win it again, and I, I want to beat Sheffield. And uh, obviously, there's a big game in Arsenal after that, but uh, we've got other priorities on Saturday, and then we can concentrate on. on what we need to do next week. But obviously, we're going to try and win everything. But that, that's a hard, hard gesture. But, you know, uh, I think it's a privilege to be able to, to fight for everything. And, you know, that's it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Don't get him. Romero, Romero! <laughs> Diretta, direct on CBS. <laughs> <laughs> oh! The microphone is. Being... Oh, there we go. Hand it over. Oh my god. Congratulations, oh my god. Big man. Nice to meet you. This is the man. This is the man. This is the man. <laughs> this is the man. Jimmy, how are you, brother? Congratulations. You good? You good? Romelu! Congratulations, sir. Huh? 
Ouais, je, je te garde, ça va. Tony, comment nous sommes Hein Comment nous sommes Délicieux, désolé. Délicieux. Big final, it was very important for us, you know, this year uh, has been uh, very complicated, you know, we were inconsistent in the league, we have to be honest, but I think we had a little turnaround uh, in the last month where we've been consistent in the league and uh, in the Cups and everybody's doing part of their job, you know, the manager is, ha um, is having a rotation system and everybody's doing their job, you know, who, who plays, score, uh, is doing the, his best for the team and the players that come in, they do their best, so we have a common goal. But your is... form as well is uh, back to your best as well, when you, especially when you're coming on in game. Yeah, yeah, it was a very tough uh, five or six months. I mean, he was, he was part of it, you know, I think uh, when I got injured, uh, we didn't realize how tough of an injury it was because, you know, I'm an explosive type of player, so when you do your hamstring, it's very tough to come back and I forced it. Obviously, at the World Cup, you guys could see I was not sharp and everything. And then I had a relapse in around January, which cost me another month and a half. And, uh, you know, it was tough. It was tough. But, you know, I kept grinding. I kept working hard in training. And then uh, when I got the opportunity, uh, when I was fully fit, I just did my best for the team. You know, we have a common goal. Obviously, at the time, we couldn't uh, challenge for the league anymore. But we knew that we had an opportunity, opportunity in the Champions League and in the Italian Cup. So. We win both finals, now we want to end as high as possible in the league and, and do well. Uh, Rom, I want to talk about, first and foremost, congratulations, but I want Thank to you. talk about the, the boss, Inzaghi. Yeah. Because sometimes we talk about the players and what you do when he came under a lot of pressure. Yeah. How much credit do you give him to make you guys understand what was at stake and your role, all of you, whether you're on the bench or on the field, in this team right now yeah. because sometimes coaches don't take a lot of credit and yeah. criticism come a, a lot his way right. but you have to give him credit how yeah, much credit how of much? course uh, a lot because I think at one point uh, the start of the season we tried um, at one point to play the high press which is not our biggest strength because we the team won the league a few years ago playing counter-attacking football then last year it was a bit of uh, a mix of flair but still having the counter-attack and this year we tried to change for the first six months and we conceded a lot of goals in the first few games and uh, in this league defense wins defense wins the championship so at one point the managers just said you know what let's go back to our strengths from before let's ju just be compact and go from there uh, and go forward as fast as possible and I think that's where we started clicking and we started scoring a lot of goals and winning games and conceding less Rob, I'm sure you're going to watch the game tomorrow, the other semi-final. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. you know Man City well, you've played in England a lot yes. as well. Yes. I mean, who do you think is going to come out on top and who would you like to face in Istanbul? You know, it doesn't matter, you know, in this stage uh, in your career, when you play finals, you know you're going to play the biggest teams. Man City is playing absolutely brilliant football. Pep Guardiola has a tactical plan every game. Very different than the other teams in the Premier League because every game there is a different pattern of play. So sometimes they might uh, aim for the second post, where sometimes they might aim for the near post. So teams they in the league, in the Premier League, they have difficulties adapting to that. Real Madrid, they have two wingers. They're absolute quality right now with Vinicius and Rodrigo. They are, you know, coming, becoming world-class players. Valverde is coming, coming through, playing in midfield now. So I just want to see a good game, to be honest, as a football fan. And then at the end of the day, may the best team win. I don't. <laughs> I just want... Can I ask you? Start I have a crash on him. I can't talk with him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys seem like you're close. Do you yeah. miss working with Thierry? Yeah, yeah, I do. I tell do. tell Wait, us about which, Thierry, the coach, though. Oh Come on, give us some insight. Very, very old school, very strict. You know, I think uh, when we met, I was uh, in uh, Everton. I think it was my last season. And to be honest, I told him, like, you know what, like. I want to hear it from you, you know. Just give me the business, what can I do better? And we, we sat together for every day for that training camp. So 10 days, we sat together every, like eight days, two hours watching White Scout every game and every clip. And then yeah, there your touch was bad, there you did well. So it was always half and half. And then, you know, I had my best year in the Prem that year. And I played, and then from there in the national team, I just started scoring every game. So. I'm very grateful to him. He still does it today. It's tougher. Yeah, but I, 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 I like it. You know, like you know, tough coaches that you know tell me the the real things that I want to hear because you don't want to be pampered all the time. I, I think. Thierry, tell us about Rob the player. <laughs> what do you like to work with? 
Look, is 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 a pain in in the you know what, but in a good way. No, in a good way. I was, Defenders. No, I was I was I was the same because it's always for the good of the team. So he always try to challenge everybody, me, the coach, his teammates, himself. At times, it's very critical of himself, and that's why sometimes he can bring him down sometimes because he doesn't see the posit positive side of it. But where I'm happy with him is that. After the World Cup, it wasn't easy, trust me, and we won't go into details because he, he knows. I won't go into details of what happened sometime when we speak to each other. But he came back. He came back and it's the first time I see him like that against proper adversity where he's slowly but surely coming back and showing that he can deliver no matter what, even when everybody is against him. And that's the sign of, uh, of greatness. So hopefully, whoever you meet in the final, you can have a good game and you guys and you guys can hopefully win it and I'll be happy for you. But you. you know it won't be an easy one. Sure. Easy one, sorry, it doesn't matter who you're gonna who you're gonna play. We'll talk about it after. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank we just saw very quickly, sorry, we just saw those pictures of the kind of the aftermath of the World Cup. And as Terry said, that's private. I don't want to ask what was yeah. said or what went on in that moment. But just to I guess in life, right? Always yeah. in the highs when you're celebrating, everybody's there, right? Yeah. But when it's tough is when you really realize who's real for you is that something that you feel like will, will, will keep that bond strong yeah you know it was uh, very tough for me like a tough couple of weeks you know where you know I was like on bit of edge I think for the first time in 15 years of playing football you know on that world stage that I went through a moment like this because I let my country down you know playing for your country is um, it's something you know you guys know how, how it is you know it's something amazing then you play at the World Cup and you want to make the best out of it because we all knew as players as, and, and the staff, we knew that this was our last chance. And to go out in the way how we did, the adversity that we had from the, the press in our country, it all came into our heads. So, you know, I took everything in, in, into my mind when I left the camp and I, I really felt down. But, you know, in football, you know, highs and lows, right? It, it, yeah, it's highs Why and lows. Speak about the highs. You just even yeah. the Champions yeah. League final. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I was depressing. It's, it's, nice, it's, nice, it's nice getting there. I know San Siro loves you. Yeah, I love it. You know, I love, we I love, I love you. I know. But it's you nice know. getting there, but, but you have to get the job done. I, I, will, that's, I, will, that's I will say something, I'll be honest. I, I'm not often worried, and that's not my normal reaction, what I did to Rome uh, at the World Cup. Normally I'm more tougher than that, but I've changed recently anyway. That's a different ball game. But I have to say... you gone for, soft. For, for, yeah, a bit. <laughs> but uh, when, it, when, it, when, it, when I have to, no, but joking aside, for two weeks I was worried. And he knows it because I texted him every single day, just asking him how it was because it wasn't, it wasn't easy. You guys didn't know what was happening and stuff like that. But it wasn't easy and he came out of it. This is why I'm, I'm very proud of him. For Inter also, because you're not alone here. But he, wasn't, he was really far from where he is right now. So hopefully you can carry on. How, how many languages do you speak? Uh, right now, seven, seven fluently. Yeah. I'm on yeah. you! Put you in the box! <laughs> Whatever. No, that's not why I'm asking. I'm wondering if you've ever seen any of the clips from the show and if you've had a chance to kind of judge Micah's Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me, I mean, what do you think? I mean, what I mean? Bene, bene. Bene, bene, bene. Ma tu parla veramente benissimo. Scusi? <laughs> piano, piano! We need to come back to Italy more, man. No, over yeah, the summer. No, Trust no. me. No. I tried it. I tried. I tried. It I tried. Work, I need right? mean, his work, but it's fine. Oh. He's trying. He's trying, which is nice. Exactly. I'm trying. <laughs> hey, listen. I had Ashley Young speaking Italian after six months. Oh, really? Ashley was good, you know. Ashley was good because, like, Conte was speaking to him in Italian and he was replying. So Who? He got rid of him after oh. two months. He was gone. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good experience, to be honest. It was I mean, amazing. Italy. Italy loves me and I love Italy. We love you, man. <laughs> Listen, we appreciate your time you so much. much. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming through. God Thank bless you. you. All the best Thank for the, for the uh, final. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what I said wasn't for free. I want the shirt, man. Come on. <laughs> oh! You think it was oh, for free? Get the oh, shirt oh, off. Because I have to do doping now. Oh. But I'll keep this for you. The doping? Take it off. No, no, man. Stop Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, TV. Come on. Let's see the guns. No, hey, because, huh? you know, he doesn't have my body, so he doesn't want to show that. Oh! You know. oh! No, I'm getting into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Everyone gets into trouble on here. <laughs> wow. I mean, you were immense.
Jack, come on, talk to us. What's it like, Champions League final? Nah, so good, man. I, I didn't know what to think today. I knew, you know, I knew what I was going to come into with the fans and stuff, but with the game, uh, listen, the talent that they've got on the pitch and the experience and all that, I, you never know what's going to happen. I certainly didn't expect 4-0, I'll be honest with you. Um, but no, I'm, uh, I'm so Come happy, on, Jack, how does it feel? Nah, unbelievable. From times at Villa to now Champions League final. No, nah, no, that's the, that's the thing, you know. Uh, I said in the last interview that it's a bit like emotional, not emotional, but you know, from where like you come from now, you're playing the Champions League semi-final and final. final. Uh, no, nah, I'm so happy, man, honestly. And listen, we ain't done nothing yet. We've got a few, well, three finals really to play, so... Uh, Nah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm buzzing. I, think I can see the look in Kate's eyes. She's dying to ask you a question. <laughs> Jamie said it's 90%. 90% on now for Manchester City in the treble. How do you feel? Do you feel the same? Would you put the same number 90%, on it? What? 90% now that you guys will go on and win the treble. No, oh, listen, Inter Milan, I've got a lot of ex Inter Milan have got a lot of experience as well, like Real Madrid. So, um, listen, I don't know. I don't know what it's like. I'm a bit speechless at the moment. I don't really know what to say. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm buzzing. Anything for you. You get that. You get that. You get that. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I'm going to go with the team. I'll speak to you in a bit. All right. I'll see you in a bit. See you coming back. Cheers for putting me in your team of the year. Congrats, mate. It's fantastic to have you with us. Thank you so much. How are you feeling? Yeah, no, good. Have you got words? It's emotional, man. After the game, like these are, you know, just like the stuff that you dream of when you're a child and. I don't know, just when I see my family and stuff in the crowd and everyone knows how close I am with my family and how much I love football. So these are just, you know, when you just have a time to, I just had a little second and I was just thinking about it all. And I don't know, this is just what I dreamed of since like, I was out there today. I thought I was terrible, but we just had to win the game. It was a tough game, um, but I was just, yeah, I was just so happy, man. And to do it with this group of players, I swear, I've never, I've never felt like this with a group of players and a group of staff and and a manager. You know, I have so much to thank for. You know, he, he bought me last year for you know a lot of money. I was awful in my first, but I weren't very good in my first season. And then you know he's given me a platform to go and I don't know, just give me confidence this season. And I've really felt it. You know, I've played in all the big matches. Um, yeah, I just I don't know. I'm just so happy. Man, honestly, I asked Micah before who he was happiest for, and he said you. Pardon? I asked Micah before who he was happiest for, and he said you, because of that price tag, because of the pressure of last season and then coming into this season. Yeah, you just you just think about, you know, you think about, I don't know, man, we've won the treble, it's just crazy. And you think about all the people, you know, that have helped you to get here, um, your family and stuff like that. And that's just why I was a bit emotional at the end. Um, you shared yeah, that moment have... with Micah, we've got video of yeah. you. Just true emotion, isn't it? I yeah, mean. because Mix knows that. Well, Mix was with me at Villa when I first come through and was good. Then he was with me when, you know, I weren't even playing at Villa. Mix has, you know, I've always stayed in contact with him, and he's known me through my ups and my downs and he's stuff. He's big so. Mix now, you know. Big Mix. <laughs> <laughs> big Mix. So, yeah, no, he's some real guy. Have a weekend, you, weekend in paradise now. You, I'll tell you that. Are you big Jack now? The treble, you know, where you've come from, Aston Villa. <laughs> Coming through, as you said, the people who've helped you along the way. I mean, this just puts you, obviously Manchester City, but this puts you on a different level. Champions League winner, treble winner. Yeah, because do you know what, though? I, I was thinking about, even during the game, you're thinking, this is a Champions League final, we've got to win to win the Champions League final. And I weren't thinking that we'd also won the treble. Like, right, it's great. <laughs> no, do you know what I mean, though? Because the only thing that was in my head was a Champions League final, and then I was like, oh, we've won the treble as well. I, I wanted, I, listen, I wanted to ask, uh, ahead, say something ahead. to Jack. Look. Kyle, I'm, what's I'm, up, I'm, by the way? Good I'm, to have you with us. Well done. Oh, thank you. Once thank again, you. look, I'm an honest man. I had my dad's doubts about you. I did. And I, I won't, I'm not going to lie. And I, I, But what was the turning point? Because something changed. Is it only Pep or something happened inside of you that you thought you had to step up your game? And I, I had that man. It, it, it can be a bit much at times, and we won't go into details. <laughs> no, we know, we know, we know, we know. But what was the turning point for you? Do you know what it was? There was certain people in the club that are close to the manager who I get on really well with, the manager included. And after my first season, and even the start of my second, I felt like I was letting them letting them down, you know, a little bit, thinking, you know, they paid 100 million for me. What have I actually contributed? Yeah, we won the league in my first season, but I didn't contribute much, do you know what I mean? 
And then I was like, I need to liven up here. And then after the World Cup, I don't know, I just, I found a new rhythm and he was playing me a lot. I felt fit and stuff. And then since then, I haven't, I don't know, I haven't really looked back and here we are now. Knowing knowing all the time what you need to do, because with Pep, you get, you, we know, between the boxes, it has to be exactly what he says. If not, you're in trouble. Anyway, anyhow, that helps also when you know exactly what is supposed to happen. No, exactly. And, and, and one thing as well, this year, I feel like I know what he wants, do you know what I mean? In my first year, I was like, I've just done something good, Dan. He was shouting at me and I was like, what? <laughs> I've just done something good, but it's not what he wants, do you know what I mean? So now I know what he wants, what type of passes, what, where he wants me out of possession. And I don't know, I feel like I get him now. I get him well done, more. well done. Jack. You made me change my mind. Well done. Can I ask you one question? Go on. Your best position yeah, was like on the left. Everywhere, man. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> No, no, wait, 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 let's go back. Off the left, do you reckon you take him on? Seriously? In my prime? In your prime. All day! <laughs> I'll tell another you what, one. why don't you another just have one. a face now? <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? <laughs> we will never know. No, we will never know. <laughs> Kyle, welcome. Thank you. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Where was your head coming into this game? Because obviously you didn't get to start. Um. It's just about winning one game. I said to the lads, I've just said there, you know, I had a talk before we came out for the for the game and the manager made me speak. I'm not really good at speaking in front of a big crowd. I don't really like it. But I just said that, you know, my dream's in your hands. Obviously, I would love to be there, but I will be with you, whether that's on the field for 10, 20 minutes, um, or I'll be cheering from the sideline. I think I was over there when we scored. It's all been a bit of a blur, but you know, my role as a as a captain, as a senior member of the squad is, I need to set an example. You're going to have setbacks in football. Um, of course, I wanted to start a Champions League final, but it's not about me. Um, if I was playing a solo sport, I'd play tennis. I'm in a team game and that's why, you know, I'm, I'm, I just love being in the, a part of this team. No, but you, you're doing yourself injustice there. You've been absolutely unbelievable this season. And the way Man City have been playing in terms of moving stones into midfield, when you're not in the team, the balance doesn't seem right for me. So I was obviously disappointed that you didn't start. But that's a great attitude. I think you've got to look back and reflect and think, you're one of the best ever Premier League, not just Premier League, world fullbacks. How does that feel? No, I, it was the one trophy that I've missing. I've been very fortunate since moving to this club that I've been able to pick up a lot of trophies along the way, but you know, this one was the one that we was missing. Um, and I think not just me, you know, I was looking around and I said to Kev, like, no one now can question him. No one can question him because that's the one thing that everyone, you know, rates you on is the Champions League. Um, but now we've won it, we've done it. The club's now on the map for the Champions League and we've also done the treble as well, which is incredible. You've been here since the start with Pep. You were certainly one of the first players that he brought in to try and change Manchester City after his first season. There's been a lot of teams, you know, over the last sort of five or six years that have that have changed. I mean, what is the difference with this team that has got them over the line to win the Champions League rather than the teams before that you played in that were obviously very successful yeah. domestically? I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's just something about this group of players now that it's, it's different. You know, you. You get into the change room and there's obviously a lot of big characters, a lot of big players in, you know, um, even, you know, you look at the man that's hugging Michael oh. now that he, he's come in and he's had to, he's had to take a big spot in Fernandinho. And to do that with how he's done it, the mm -hmm. mannerism that he's done it, um, you know, obviously, Kun's left, David's left, we've missed big players, but, and I think the spine of the team as well. No, I wanna. But we, we've done it, we've done it, and that's what we all, you know, what we all came here to do. And he got man of the match, eh? I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to speak to me now, do you? Oh, no, you're oh, no, 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 no. But I, would, I think I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Rodri, have you, have you been able to see your goal yet? Have you um, seen your goal? Have you watched your goal back? One time, I think, on the screen. Let's take a look. Well, I mean... One of the few times I, I, I went uh, up into, uh, I see Bernardo at deflection and then that moment I was thinking to, sc to shoot up and strong and then I, I shoot first post. I think it was a good decision. 
It's a beautiful striker, Andre. It's amazing, it's amazing. Look I, at I don't that, know why, why I don't play striker. I, yeah. <laughs> How important for you, you're the match winner here, the last Champions League final, there was a lot of talk about you obviously not starting that game. Uh, you Obviously, Pep made a different decision. How important that you obviously start the game and have a huge impact on it? I mean, for me, as I said before, for me, it's a dream to arrive in this moment. But uh, to score a goal, uh, even though what we came the last final, I didn't play, but I was part of the team. Uh, all my my team uh, teammates deserve to win that final. We didn't, and this is all about the group. We, the best thing about this group, we, we keep pushing, pushing the next years. Uh, last last season was fair. Sorry. Oh, but uh, he won. He won, and he scored in the final. It's we, okay. We, we play with this with this feeling, and we deserve to to win today. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm emotional. It's emotion. an emotional name. The, the emotion. It, you're not the first person on this show. Don't worry. Jamie was actually the first on this I, show. I swear all the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I wanted to, to ask you a question. You had difficulties when you arrived at the beginning. People were talking about maybe you're not the answer for this club. Did you have any doubt? And if you, if you did have some, which happens to anyone, who was the one to help you the most? Because I know that this team looks like it's a family, but someone must have done something for you because it's very important when you arrive, especially abroad. People don't get that. You have to step out of your country. I mean, to be fair, I always feel, uh, of course, I changed team uh, like uh, from Atletico to, to Man City, new, new style with Pep, with many changes coming, the Fernandinho plays, one of the biggest players in that position. It's not easy. I was 22, 23. Uh, and I need to adapt myself. I think, even though the first year we didn't win much, but for me it was it's good to the to to know the position and, and everything. For the years I've been growing and understanding, and I arrived in this moment. Honestly, I don't take in care much the people say. I believe in myself, what the coach and the people cheeky think about me, and they always trust on me. So I just try to come this back. This you week. are incredible, incredible. Now, now you're a legend for legend ever. ever. <laughs> Benito. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, boss. What? What's up? Oh. How are you doing? Hello. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pep, Hi. thank you so much for joining us. There is so much respect for you at yeah, this no? desk. That's all I've heard all evening long. Is the is the funniest uh, show in the Champions League this season? <laughs> yes. Oh, of course. Yeah? It's, it's a very good show. But on eh? Twitter, I, I follow sometimes some moments. <laughs> okay. Who, you know? Who's your favorite? Oh. Who's your favorite? Let's get, let's get the, the serious stuff out of the way first. Come on, who's your favorite? Boss, we want to travel together. You, you know where you got to go. <laughs> 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 now, congratulations. I, 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 have a, I have a question for, for the boss. Tactically, I thought in the 5-3-2, the, the players that are going to be very important were going to be your centre-backs. And that's exactly how the goal came. Mm. If Akanji doesn't drive, Bastoni doesn't come out, you don't play the ball because you don't create that overload. And I know then Rodri will get the applause and everything, but I thought that if Akanji is not brave to go in, nothing happens. Did you tell him that? <laughs> but I tell him. Many things we tell him. And sometimes they do it, sometimes, sometimes don't. So this competition is, this trophy is so difficult. The, the anxious, the, the, there is no people in the world with desire to more to win this competition than the players. And we felt it in the first time, like this, you for, know. For the, for the first time, boss, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, oh, yeah, sorry. you see, I wanted to I'm do that all my out. life. <laughs> sorry. You, you did it to me so many times. Stay on the line. <laughs> yes. But uh, we did it. Yeah, it was an action to go. The space was in the sides. The first, the first half, the space with Johnny is, was when Stones with Chanaloglu jumped to Rodri and the space with Johnny Stones, and we didn't find it. And the second half was a little bit better. We scored a goal, and after we had the field forward and the clear chance, and after the end, this competition is a coin. So what happened if now we are a genius? How good is Manchester City? Uh, congratulations. <laughs> and we could draw. Eddie saved like in the past, he didn't save, and save against Sané. In uh, Etihad the Stadium, 1-0, today save 2 or 3, in the past didn't save it. This competition is like that. That's why Premier League is every week, ta -ta -ta, with the win, you are the best. Pep, Here, I... What's the difference between this team now and what you've had in the last couple of years? Why well, has this team won? I would say with four central defenders, we defend properly in our box. Now is a bigger step, I think. Now we enjoy defend, defending. Yeah? Even we make a mistake with Manu sometimes, I had the feeling that we are, uh, we are defenders. 
Pep, can I ask you, we had a debate before the game, what was more difficult to win, the Premier League or the Champions League? You're the deciding vote. Well, I am a master winning the Premier League. Drop the mic, drop the mic, drop the mic. And not the Champions League, so normally the most difficult to win is the most difficult to be. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I like to win the Champions League for the fact we won it, but especially for give credit to the five Premier Leagues. Mm. And the four Carabao Cups and the FA Cups, and, you know, because and the style of play and everything. No, but yeah, no, yeah, no. Of course, uh, we cannot deny. So we we'll travel, will be part of the immortality. That is true. Are but, you exhausted? Huh? Are you exhausted? <laughs> it's been yes. such a long season. <laughs> I need a glass of wine or beer so, or whatever. So, so Gaffer, you said at the start beforehand, this is the funniest show. Sorry? You, you said at the start this yeah. is the funniest show. Do, do you watch the clips on, on, on yeah, Twitter? Yeah, some clips on Twitter, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But what's your favorite one? Which one do you like the most? But normally... <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> normally, an introduction for, uh, for Katie. Oh! Oh! <laughs> when destroy today, you. When today destroy. was good. Today, today was good. Was good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see. Oh, she's uh, he's so sad. Okay. Uh, he said we have to cut. Boss. Well done. Well done. Well done. We appreciate you so much. Congratulations. How's life? Life is good? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Did you. What was the, the anxiety levels, the nerves coming into this game? How high were they? No, I was uh, really nervous. You were or you weren't? No, I was really nervous, uh -huh. I have to say. I uh, felt it in my uh, stomach uh, today. Any bad else? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh. <laughs> Why are they always asking these awkward questions? Ben, I'm asking this. <laughs> you always, I'm asking you always myself the same thing every time. <laughs> no, I, I was nervous, uh, to be honest, because I feel it. I feel something big, and everyone knew it was a big game. We could win the treble. Of course, I felt it. Uh, but we managed to win it as a team, and uh, in the end, that's what really matters. You, you so. speak about the pressure. We, we spoke to you a few months ago at, uh, at the Etihad, and you said, I know I've been brought in. What for? This team has won the Premier League before. Did you feel that pressure individually in terms of the Champions League? Yeah, I did. Uh, be, and also on the Premier League, because they won it twice. So for me to come in and don't win the Premier League would be... <laughs> would be uh, not dis disaster but not good you know so uh, it's been uh, it's been really tough mentally last couple of weeks to know that I'm able to do it and to do it now such a relief honestly it's, and it's you're unbelievable join, you're joining three other Norwegians who's done the same how proud are you of that yeah it's uh, to put the Norway on the map uh, even more is uh, is fantastic so uh, so uh, it's been quite some time since uh, someone won the treble, so it was about time someone did it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what? <laughs> Come on, Big Mick. It's your time, it's your no, time, no, no. man. Enjoy. I'm, Peter's I, lost I'm, the world. I'm just, no, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy for you. I, I think what, what happened in the last two and a half weeks just shows you the pedigree of this team because you haven't, we've, we've been covering that. You haven't really played well. You've been very, very effective. It hasn't been the style of play that was the important thing. It was about winning. And I think that's that's what's the big change in Man City yep. was that. Now you can win ugly and it doesn't matter to I you. Agree. It doesn't have to be this elegant play. And that's how you do it. And, and today, I mean, you're riding your luck a little bit, but you had one chance, one moment of brilliance taking advantage of, of uh, a situation. And you scored, and, and, and that's, he, that's how you do it. Yeah, I agree. I think the, most of the team have learned a lot from the final two years ago. Uh, and it's a more, much more experienced team. They've been through a lot. Look at the last season, the last game in the Premier League. You've, it's, uh, it's, this is about proper experience, you know. Uh, and uh, we know this, and we've been knowing this for the la ever since February, you know, when we knew Arsenal was in front there in Premier League. And also in Champions League, we knew we were going to meet Bayern, that's been winning Champions League many times. Real Madrid, that's been winning most of the times. And don't forget, this team has always won, has also won a couple of times. So we knew we had to be mentally strong and to go into the game, maybe not to play the most beautiful game, uh, football, but to win it. Because in these games, it's the most important thing. Erlen, your manager came over, Pep Guardiola, and he said this show is the funniest show <laughs> on TV. I mean, would you agree with your manager? Please say yes. Uh, sometimes you two are a bit awkward. 
<laughs> awkward in which way dancing or which way singing? The dancing is definitely awkward. They say a, a bit, sometimes a bit too much, or? Yeah. Do you think? <laughs> what, do you want to show us how... Do you, no, no, I'm not a dancer. I'm not dancing. Come on, I'm neither are we. I'm not a dancer. How, Just when the, how I, I will you dance. celebrate tonight? What does celebrating look like for you? Celebration is a good question. Uh, first of all, with my family, uh -huh. with my teammates, of course. Uh, I actually, I haven't seen my dad yet, so... Is he here? Yeah, that's he's, he's on the game, so... Uh, I've that's, been that's looking the, for him. That's the first question I wanted to... That's the question I wanted to ask you. Now I have the time to ask you, what was your first thought when the ref blew the whistle? I'll share mine when I want it. My daughter, because it was the, her birthday. That's the oh. first thing I wanted yeah, yeah, on the, yeah. the birthday of my daughter, so that was my first, my, my first thought. What was yours? First, I made a free kick, a stupid free kick. <laughs> <laughs> I never had so much pain in my stomach ever before. <laughs> when I pushed him a little bit, I was like, nah, why am I doing this? I gave them a chance, you know? And then after Wonder Wave blew the whistle, what was your first seconds. thought? Yeah, and then when I, it was just full of emotions because it's been such a long season. And I got bought here to, of course, win the uh, Champions League. And then to win the Champions League mm. is the first thing I was thinking. I was just like 100 kilos away from my shoulders, kind of uh, feeling. Uh, uh, I don't have a, I don't have a daughter, so uh, I, uh, I didn't feel, think of this. I was just thinking of this club. The first time we actually did it, you know, we completed the treble. That's what I was thinking of. Then I actually cried a lot. I, I don't remember the last time I cried this much in, uh, in my life. <laughs> Man, Your you deserve hometown. it. You deserve it. Your hometown Top. in Norway was celebrating you tonight. There was a watch party in your hometown in Norway. We can show you the pictures. Oh, wow. I don't know if you've seen them. I mean, hundreds, if not thousands of people here. This is the final whistle. These were the scenes over there. What does that mean to you? No, it's, it's really special from the... In my hometown, not a lot of people, um, but to, to see this, that people actually care so much, really, I really appreciate that. And my, my grandma was also in this crowd here with, oh, wow. uh, with yeah. Jersey on, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the videos. Wait, and photos who was in the crowd? Your grandma? Yeah, my grandma. What? Maybe we see her uh, if we look closely. <laughs> That's her dancing now. <laughs> so, uh, no, it's, it's unreal. And, uh, and uh, as I said, this also shows that everything is possible no matter where you come from. Uh, from a small town in Norway uh, to be able to be on the biggest stage and win the biggest trophies is uh, also motivation for me. Did you think that back then when you were living there, when you were growing up? I, I dreamt and I always said this, I dreamt of winning the Champions League. I, of course Premier League and so on as well, but Champions League was old. I always felt a bit more, you know, when I watched the games they were more special, Wednesday night, these kind of games. <laughs> so. Uh, in the end, this this is my biggest dream, winning this, and now I did it. So what's next? What's next? How you you've won a treble in your first season? What can you do next season? <laughs> More goals? Good More question. assists? Good well, question. How could you improve? Championship. <laughs> Fifty-two goals you scored, all competitions. Can I, you beat that next season? I should have scored more. Uh, I had a lot of chances. I could have scored today as well. Um, uh, but uh, I think in a couple of days, I think I will will feel this, uh, all these emotions, and then I think I will want to do it again, for sure, for sure. <laughs> okay, well, I know, okay. I know a little bit about being a parent for, of a professional footballer. How much credit should be given to your mother for this result? Uh, a lot, of course. No, uh, of course. She was a professional, I, weren't you? Yeah, no, she, not football. <laughs> She was not football. She was a professional sportsman. Yeah, she yeah. was uh, yeah. running. She was running. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's where I have my pace from. <laughs> uh, but uh, no. Yeah, but you, you didn't get that from your dad. No. When of I played not. with your dad, uh, uh, this is the truth. His contribution to that year was on the massage table. <laughs> he was injured for 12 months. No, but honestly, my parents uh, a huge role. I moved out in 2017, start of 2017, and. Uh, and they've been supporting me ever since. My mother a bit in the shadow, uh, my father a bit more in the spotlight. Uh, and yeah, they've been supporting me ever since day one, driving me around on training, giving me food every single day when I think back of it. Uh, what a stress life, life they must have had. I ate so much when I was Just young. Just feeding you. <laughs> and I uh, always uh, wanting more and everything. So them driving with me to games and everything is, uh, of course, is emotional. And uh, maybe when I think of this, uh, the first thing I was thinking of was, the sacrifice, not only me, but also my parents and everyone yes. has been doing the last or the last 
15 years, you know. So uh, they meant everything in the end. Erlen, you right now are the best striker in world football. I think we'd all agree with that. On your right here, was a, he was the best striker in football. We're asking you questions now, right now. Is there anything you'd like to ask Thierry Henry? Wow. Mm. One, if you could have one question, no, a bit of yeah. insight from Thierry. He's been in wow. your position before. No, yeah, I have. I would have loads, but now I think of so many things. But if you were, if you would like to give me one advice, what would it be? One advice. Oh, I, I said it. I said it. I said it on air. I just think that in the box there is nothing that you can you can learn. What you do is second to none. But back to the goal, going onto your right, sometimes making the runs where you don't want to go. There's some stuff that you can learn, but then they, then is, they're going to go to the quadruple if they do that. That's the, that's the thing. In England, you can do the quadruple. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. What Don't do you mean, we, stop it? No more advice. If, if he, if 52 he, goals. If he starts to go on his, right, on his right and yeah. finishing with his right across the oh same run God. that he makes on the left, it's over. He will score 100 goals per, per week. <laughs> 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 no, no, but honestly, I, I agree because don't forget I'm 22. Think back when all of you were 22. Imagine from 22 and now, of course, now you are a bit older, you don't play football anymore, but there's so much you're going to learn. And in three years, I will be thinking back of me like how I was thinking, you know, because just me from when I signed for Dortmund and now it's such a big difference from so many things from Salzburg and everything. how I, I mean, think great, after yeah. games, how I think before games, how I motivate myself, how I speak to others. You get you get experience through people and of course on the pitch and uh, and I totally agree with it. I can I can develop so much. I have one going to the World Cup with Norway. Mm. Was that a question? No, I'm saying is that is that is that something that you have on your on on your mind? Yeah, of course. Because you have you have a good team. I think the starting eleven is not bad. Yeah, for me, for sure. Uh, World Cup, Euros, both. I would love to play uh, uh, World Cup and uh, what Euros with uh, with Norway, uh, and I will do everything I can to make it happen. Of course, it's uh, it's Norway, but as you say, we're getting there. I the players are getting there. We have uh, Odegaard that's been captain one season for the second best team in uh, in England. That's a really good thing. Uh, so we're getting there, and uh, that's also I think if I'm gonna look back at my career at my career. I would need to have this. I would need to play World Cup or Euros. I wish you all the Sorry, best. Before you, you go, can, can I just see you that can. medal? Can I touch it? As much as you want, mate. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Listen, you gave so, so many much Champions time. League Thank winners. You. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm here by you. myself. Go well find done. your dad. Well done. Enjoy well done. your celebration. Where is your dad? <laughs>